What's up, ma? Everything's good, baby. I'm here with you. Yeah. I love Disturbing details about Sean Diddy Combs' allegedly perverse and violent secret life are unbelievable to most people. It's so sickening to wonder what could have created such a monster. The real truth is dark, and now, inside sources have set the record straight that Diddy's bad apple doesn't fall far from the tree. On December 15, 2023, The Urban Noir uploaded a video claiming that Diddy's mom, Janice Combs, had messed up his childhood. Major media outlets like the Daily Mail jumped on this backstory after Diddy's arrest. We learned from the urban noir that Janice worked as an escort and that she allegedly performed in freak-offs while on the job. So those infamous freak-offs that Diddy is accused of could be learned behavior. It's alleged that Janice made Diddy watch her do this when he was just an impressionable kid. The urban noir did an amazing job of painting Diddy's shocking childhood in the right light. They didn't excuse any of his illegal activities. Instead, they explained how Janice's extreme behavior laid the groundwork for him to become a dangerous, out of control adult. For years before the real truth was exposed, Diddy told the media that his mom worked hard to provide for the family after his dad, Melvin Combs, passed away violently when Diddy was just two years old. The urban noir quoted Diddy as saying, my mother worked three jobs and my grandmother worked two. At an early age, I started my own paper route. Diddy made it sound like any other American family who struggles to get by but succeeds. Unfortunately, what Janice allegedly did is nowhere near as wholesome. While Diddy has managed to carve out an insanely successful empire, his apparent strength was no match for his childhood demons. The urban noir also blew the lid off Diddy's allegedly weird relationship with Janice. As cringeworthy as this is, it's easy to read between the lines when they mention that Diddy and Janice's affection allegedly goes way farther than the regular mother-son relationship. That's when the urban noir threw shade at Diddy over the viral video of Diddy and Janice passionately kissing each other. It's the video that the Daily Mail picked up on in an article published on September 18th. The Mail claimed that the disturbing video had resurfaced after Diddy's arrest. They did drop one bombshell when they revealed that Diddy and Janice were both hooked up to IVs in this video. Diddy allegedly hooked up his female and male victims to IV drips after his cruel freak-offs. He supposedly made his victims perform acts while under the influence of substances and the long draining sessions caused such extreme dehydration that he figured the IVs were necessary. The male described Diddy as puffing a certain green substance. He bragged about taking his mom to exotic clubs and claimed that Janice was single and ready to mingle. Diddy seems to worship Janice in the video. It's the opposite of the cruelty that his ex, Cassie Ventura, accused him of and Cassie also has video proof. In his video, Diddy calls Janice gorgeous. It looks like Janice gives her son a seductive smile as she admits, everything's good, baby. I'm here with you. I love you. The male claimed that Diddy looked visibly smitten. He told Janice he loved her too, and they shared that impromptu peck on the lips. Unfortunately, it sounded more creepy than cute when Janice said, that's my baby, after they shared that kiss on the mouth. The urban noir exposed another one of Diddy's alleged desires, and in a bizarre twist, Janice wears long, fake white fingernails in the video. Lipstick Alley described it as the white nail conspiracy theory. It all came to light when Cassie alleged in her lawsuit against Diddy that he forced her to always paint her nails white as a contrast to the skin of the black men he hired to perform with her during the freak-offs. The commenter on Lipstick Alley alleged that many of Diddy's exes had the white nails, even his once rumored girlfriend, supermodel Naomi Campbell. The commenter further alleged that the nails switched when they're with someone else. That's why Janice's white nails in the video seemed extra creepy. Even though Diddy Diddy was still a toddler when his dad's life ended. It's been further alleged that Melvin's dangerous past also left Diddy with deep childhood trauma. The Urban Noir reported that Melvin was the leader of a very notorious gang in Harlem. The internet confirms that Melvin passed away at just 33 years of age from a fatal firearm wound. Allegedly, Melvin physically attacked many of his enemies, and sources claim that he even fatally injured people in front of Diddy. Melvin supposedly had connections to the infamous Harlem gang lord, Frank Lucas, and if Janice was keeping her man's dirty secrets. She's allegedly done that and worse for Diddy. The Urban War said Janice has also been exposed for protecting Diddy and hiding his secrets. And they weren't just talking about Diddy's love life. They allege that sources have proof that Diddy single-handedly mismanaged and withheld payments from a lot of artists under his label. However, Diddy isn't the only one they're blaming. Allegedly, Diddy keeps many of his business interests under Janice's name. If that's the real truth, she's helped her son commit white
white collar crimes for decades. And a former poster child for Bad Boy Records set the record straight in March 2024. Maze used to be the star rapper on Diddy's label, but shockingly he confessed on an episode of his It Is What It Is podcast this year that he retired from rap to escape Diddy. The Urban War talked about how Maze put Diddy on blast several years ago for only paying him 20k for his time at Bad Boy Records. Then Maze threw shade at Janice. Maze alleged that the only person who has the receipts on every bad thing Diddy has ever done is his mom. And Maze meant that literally. Allegedly, Diddy has put almost everything that he owns in his mother's name. If the reason isn't obvious, the Urban War confirmed that just in case things go south for Diddy, he'll still be good. But there's another bad side to the story. Allegedly, Diddy is under close watch around the clock in a Brooklyn federal jail that the New York Post describes as barbaric. On September 18th, the Post reported that Diddy had spent the night locked up in a notorious holding facility. They went on to describe the infamous Metropolitan Detention Center in Sunset Park, which had previously housed notorious inmates like R. Kelly and Ghislaine Maxwell. The Post wrote that Diddy was held there ahead of a scheduled Manhattan federal court hearing Wednesday afternoon. They added that Diddy was expected to appeal the court's decision to keep him jailed, but as we know now, that appeal was denied. Allegedly, a jail guard who didn't want to be identified informed the Post that Diddy was alone in his cell without another inmate for his first night. Sources claim that Diddy will be targeted in prison and considered a trophy for dangerous criminals to harm. If that's not bad enough, the Sunset Park Detention Center is infamous for its worm and maggot infested food. Today.com also reported in July that Janice had been hospitalized and allegedly she was getting sick from all the stress months before Diddy got arrested. Janice is now 84 years old and Today.com reported that a source told NBC News that Diddy was by his mom's side in the hospital because she asked for her son. The source revealed that Janice was admitted on July 10th after having chest pains. They added that she had been going through a number of tests, but there was no official diagnosis. According to NBC's source, Janice's medical team assumed that stress was a factor. While the source claimed that Janice was apparently in okay health, they revealed that she underwent brain surgery this year. The source wanted to paint a sympathetic image of Janice when they explained the stress of everything has been a lot for her, but she's standing by her son.